Welcome back. It's five o'clock somewhere, isn't it? Especially around the Twin Ports with over 10 different breweries and even more across the Northland. Well, this morning we're here at Hoops Brewing and I have the man himself, Dave Hoops, with me. Great. So you guys actually went to Mexico to learn the authentic Absolutely. recipes. Absolutely. Just like with the OMC when we went to the South for barbecue, we went to Mexico for tacos make sure we're doing it right. You guys are awesome. You know, can you eat it raw? Uh, I'm sure you can. We, just, <laughs> we prefer to cook it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I was just curious because <laughs> it smells so good. I want to eat it like a green pepper right now. It's interesting, right? I like it. I, I can't wait. This is the sriracha cheese ball, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give this one a taste here. A nice little dip in there. Oh, I'm so excited. I love spicy stuff. So what wine would pair best with this if I get this at the fair? Well, we have 12 different local Minnesota wines. This particular one, we use a St. Pepin White in the sauce and in the cheese platter. And I think it's delicious. You try that with your, that one. And pour fast. Faster, faster. Yes, yes, yes. Now follow through. Look at oh. that. Oh. You made a heart on your first try. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I'm a little surprised too. Dang, that's a good <laughs> oh my God, we need to cheers our hearts. <laughs> All right, well that was so much fun. Okay. You'll be fine, even if it falls apart, you can put it back. Even if the filling falls out, you're still good. All right, so for the last part. Ooh. We're gonna let that sizzle up a little bit. We'll cover it for just a second to let it heat up. What is that, what am I smelling? You're smelling probably the basil and okay. the uh, the beef itself has yeah. its own. Yeah, it smells good. It kind of smells kind of <laughs> like a ranch in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> in a good way. Exactly. Then it is so good. The greens are amazing. And then when you pair it with that carrot, it doesn't even, it almost doesn't taste like a carrot, to be honest with you. It's got that carrot flavor, that juice, that butter. Oh my gosh, the flavor is outstanding. Good, thanks. My goodness, thank you now so you much. I'm gonna, all of mine. <laughs> I'll be in Canal Park, August 16th, from 5 to 8 p.m. We are in Silver Bay, in the middle of the shopping mall, about a mile off the- Here we go, about eh, five to six hours is what we're gonna look for. Okay, well that's a lot of time in between cooking, so what do we do in the meantime? Well, I can I teach know. you how to line dance. Let's do it! Oh. Right. Step, oh. step, up, step, up, 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 okay. <laughs> Hold on, we got this behind step, clap. <laughs> All right, we got some Nepali's tacos for you. Oh, awesome. Enjoy. Thank you so much. here is just absolutely amazing. The taste of the tacos are good. There's like a little spice, a lot of a freshness. Yep, yep. Not too much spice. Don't Not worry too about much, it. Not too much, we don't go spicy, no. Flavor. Minnesota spicy. There you go, I like it. Yeah. Well, here's a fresh Mex cheers, and that's it for this week's Cooking Connection. Game on. You were pretty good at the games. Yeah, I beat you at Buck Hunter. <laughs> Look, I was. I but was we proud. both won shirts. We did. Check that out. <laughs> Bringing those molecules together, we want to get it very close to the top, and it's going to be very thick right now. So. And that's it for this week's cooking connection. <laughs>